Our protocol hidden one returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimiyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. Have you seen the board? More contracts arrived. Hello. Nice to see you. Have you devised any new tools? Here's what I have. Nothing else? Your skills could surely aid me. Take a look.
Seen enough? Thank you for sharing your gifts. Farewell. and stealing his food. Someone needed him to back off. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. Haban Mubatan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows.
Are you fascinated by the motions of a planet? Well met. Well met, sir. May I see your wares? Here's what's come in. Not wise to be short of these. Good for fixing one's gear. Will that be all? I must take my leave. Be well. Survey the area, Enkidu. The traders only bring in the finest spices I want during the auction. It is the time to buy the You may go with me later. Yet we still have persons dressed in Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha. You know me. Come, let us chat. I do have something to ask. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasure? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat Al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back.
الفكرة في منطقة الفلتيين من كل هذا لا شك أن لديهم مشاكلهم الخاصة لكن حسب ما أظن لو لم يكن ملكهم سكيرا أحمق لحكمت بيزنطة الشام بحلول هذا الوقت Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Beautiful threads, smooth as a camel's buttered button. A special for you, the Sadiqi. Buy two, get another free. I should look at other wares. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat, the treasurer... Not something we can rush, yes, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come, we talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy than three dozen bottles going. Production has been slow, yes, I doubt. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. 
I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasure will have to wait for her supply. This perfume on the tax collector's letters. I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
Longing for the exquisite, ya Sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. The auction should be starting soon. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Yasas. Ni hao. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Uh, two. Any others? Hmm. We have a hmm. third there. Hold. 
who owns it again? Number three, what will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart, listen to your desires. Sold to the man over there. Kindly collect your item from my associate after the auction. Now, moving on. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. I have to get the hairpin from that man. Why would the treasurer Did want it so badly? Her calmness, her grace, like a long, shiny star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Borrow the oh, hair. Let me take a look at the hair. Again. and beautiful Malaka. indeed. Where is it? This is nothing this like these ancient mine. objects the but order is seeking. No I must confront Ning. Oh, the treasurer's face. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers. No more than usual. 
These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yeah. You die now! An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. This must be the Ivory Coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Careful not to get bitten in there. 
Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Exquisite. Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau. No! The ah! She's dead! The gods! Help! Has someone killed the treasurer?
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. <laughs> 